So it's 1971, and I was working in a hotel as a sports coach, and I got the chance to go out and work in the Seychelles. And I thought this was a fantastic opportunity to go and coach tennis in the wonderful sunshine. I'd always loved playing tennis, and I'd always loved coaching tennis. I had some family working in Oporto in Portugal at the time, so I decided to go out there and then sail from Lisbon around to Mombasa and catch a boat from Mombasa to the Seychelles to take up this post as tennis coach in this wonderful hotel in the Seychelles. What an opportunity. So I arrived in Portugal carrying my tennis rackets and soon realized that I'd fallen in love with Portugal and Oporto. During my first few months in Porto, I met many young people like myself, and we would visit the restaurants and eat wonderful things like amezuas, uh, clams. Uh, on Wednesday, we would always have fujuara, which are black beans, and I thought these were really fantastic. And I used to love going in an evening to the very dark and dim bars and listening to the Fadu singers sing about their troubles and their love lives and men who had gone away from them. And this was a great experience for a young guy like myself. So visiting the Fadu houses was just great. I did get accustomed to liking Portuguese Vinho de Porto or port wine. And so I would also enjoy sampling the port at every opportunity. And it was just after I'd met some of the port wine families that I was asked to go up the River Douro and visit the port quintas, the farms where they would harvest the grapes, usually in September. And here was I having the opportunity to go and spend a weekend in one of these wonderful quintas. I remember going down to the river with, with a huge picnic and various people carrying the picnics on their heads and shoulders. And we must have had enough food to feed an army. But we got into these very long boats and paddled our way downstream and soon found a wonderful picnic spot. And of course, we had our dry white port to start with and then during the meal, some wonderful Portuguese wine and finished off with some port wine at the end. These were wonderful, wonderful memories. And sometimes we would sit round a campfire outside and just exchange stories and sometimes sing songs just to uh, pass the evening away. What great memories I have of visiting Portugal over this, this 40 years or more. And I can't thank the people of the Upper Douro enough for their hospitality. C'era sempre una canzone per voi Un bicchiere due risate con The grapes are collected by many, many people from the local villages who wind their way through the hillside to take part in this once a year vindima or collection of grapes. Charming people, always willing to be photographed and sometimes you can hear them singing in an evening because most of them sp spend the evenings here before starting work early in the morning. This is a wonderful time to be up the River Douro a wonderful time to be strolling along, along the narrow, picturesque roads that wind their way across the hillsides. You see many bridges, you see a wonderful little train that comes up here from Oporto, almost up to the Spanish border, and you see lots of river craft winding their way up and down the River Douro. Tomorrow I'm going to go to one of the warehouses where they take the grapes and then watch the process of fermentation and the making of port wine. So I look forward to seeing you again. So this is your Australian photographer saying goodbye from the River Douro in the wonderful country of Port.
Portugal. C'era sempre una canzone per voi, un bicchiere due risate con noi. Nella casa in via del campo dove dolce andava il tempo, dove ho riso amati tante volte pianto. Si scaldavano le ore, quel che volta in fondo al cuore rimaneva un'ombra triste di rimpianto. Nostalgia di non poter guardare il sole nella casa in via del campo. 